Hey guys, what is up? It is DX Tech here, and welcome to a little bit of Landscaping 101. Now, uh, today, we're going to be doing it a little bit based off of a uh, hilly, ter hilly terrain, or sort of a mountainous terrain, but um, a lot of this may change based off your preference. Again, this is my preference. And um, it's also sort of going to be based off whether or not you build your own hill or mountain, kind of like we've done here, or uh, whether, you know, you already kind of have one. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, oh, hold on. Get that out of my inventory. So, uh, what you're going to need basically is so obviously in a mountain you're going to have a lot of areas that show a little bit of a um, little bit of uh, rock and everything. So you're going to need your different gradient levels, which you start out with stone and you go to cobblestone and then anisite and then gravel. And then we're going to have uh, you know obviously going to need some dirt. Do something near me. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of dirt um, to add in any areas that we feel you know might need like a hangover. Ooh, not, not not a drunk hangover or nothing, but just a kind of like a cliff, um, a little bit of coarse dirt to add in kind of well walked paths or anything, a little bit of podzel to add in some uh, wet and marshy areas, a little bit of uh, stairs, cobblestone stairs and slabs to kind of help add some sticking out boulders. Going to want a little bit of mossy stone to represent grass growing over cobblestone. You're going to want the bone meal to uh, add your grass. Now, as you can see here, so this the mountain. Whoa, don't look at that Enderman. And I picked up the rotten flesh again. So uh, the hill that we built um, going around our uh, spawn area, um, it's obviously we had to kind of like add our own grass, as you can kind of see here. So it's not all added in, but we're just going to be focused on this little part today for this uh, tutorial. But yeah, you're going to want you're going to want the bone meal to uh, later add in a little bit of grass and some greenery here and there. And you can make some um, two tall grass and all that stuff. So and then you're going to want a little bit of uh, variation of leaves to help add help add with some uh, foliage. You're gonna and you're gonna want may wonder what these are for, but uh, they're gonna help with lighting. Now, if based off whether or not you like torches on your area or not, what you can do is you can get your uh, jack o' lanterns where you stick a torch on top of a pumpkin, you get a jack o' lantern, and you dig you dig that into the ground, place a little uh, green stained glass over it, and boom, no one will ever know it was there. So yeah, so let's get into it first. What you kind of want to start off. Oh, and I forgot to mention you need your saplings because that's what we need first. So first, what you kind of want to start off with, wait, no, let's go ahead, let's not do that first. Let's go in and let's go in and add, uh, let's go in and add some, some rock in the area. So hold on, let's look back real quick. So when you're looking at it, when you're building it, what you're going to want to try to really do is start off with your mountain and really when you connect the areas, you kind of want to go, let's see if I can get a better shot of it from right here. So what we kind of did is you want to go out a little bit, but you also kind of want to like bring parts that come in and then bring parts that come out. So you kind of see here, we kind of brought this in, but see that it kind of sticks back out. Don't look at the Enderman. And, you know, so that's that's really how you build it. And then when you're building it up, you don't want to build it um, like staircase. Like you see right here a little bit, you don't want to build it where it goes all the way up. See, there's like a little, little bit of uh, variation here or like there's areas where it's too tall. You just kind of want to mix it up when you're building it. But then what I recommend is obviously building it with dirt first. And then under it, we can actually go view that in here. We're working on it a little bit. Under it, you want to you want to put some stone behind it. And I would recommend doing this later, not while you're uh, building the mountain, because it will just be a pain. You'll end up tearing up stone and just be a waste. So uh, yeah, build it in dirt first, and then come in. Do right now. Do what we're doing right now. So you come in here. You kind of just find some areas that are kind of more vertical. I guess that's that's how you're gonna find them. And what you're gonna do, oh, didn't mean to break that. You're gonna put the stone behind it. You're kind of gonna help add the areas where the rock is really sticking out. You know, you're gonna want to um, really get that showing. Oh, you're really gonna get that showing because it uh, helps with the verticality of your your build. Just kind of look in some areas. You don't need too much, but uh, just a little bit in areas that you feel. Again, it's all personal preference. Um, just wherever you feel you need it. So. Kind of add a little bit here and there, and then we'll step back here in a second and uh, see how it looks. Yeah, you just you just come in these areas, and you can honestly even uh, you can get rid of. Let's see, what do I want to kind of do that here? Uh, yeah, I could for like a boulder later. But you can like come in here, and you can even make you can even make the whole stone stick out with no grass on top of it. You know, just add a little bit wherever you feel like. And yeah, it's just going to help with the verticality of your build and make it seem uh, more realistic, you know, because this is it's landscape, you know, we got to get it done right. 
So we put a little bit of that in there. All right. I think we got a little bit. Yeah. So if you looked at how we kind of started it off with, um, if I step back here in a second, you're going to notice it just kind of looks a little bit more natural, you know, it's the, and it brings out all of this, this dirty brown and green color and kind of adds some new, some new fresh colors. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on the rest of this section right here and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back guys. So now if you look at it, you're kind of starting to get a little bit of a better shape. You know, you're really starting to, you're really starting to get like a real flow and feeling. And if you kind of notice what I kind of did is you, if you look down low, you don't see, you don't see too, too much uh, stone. You don't, and there's maybe like a, some clumps here and there, but as I get towards the, towards the top, you kind of want to add more cause that's just like the natural, um, I that's really just like the way a lot of mountains and hills are formed in our world. So, uh, cause if you come up here, you can kind of notice it's just a lot, a lot less sparse and it starts to really get into larger clumps. Cause <clears throat> if you look at mountains, you know, it really starts, you know, the rock really starts to break away from the uh, grass, um, due to the levels at which they can survive. Cause you know, it's going to get colder and it's going to be a little bit harsher weather. And you know, there's going to be a lot more rain. It's going to be a lot more sloped. Um, so there's not going to be as much grass. What you want to do is you really want to start to begin to add we need a little stone right there actually you really want to start to uh add more stone on the top and kind of as it flattens out you really kind of want to add a lot more and obviously i'm not done here but for the sake of this tutorial i thought we'd uh move on so now after we've added in a little bit of our stone what we need to do is actually i just want to show you this real quick so this is kind of like where we're at right now you know it's obviously looking a lot more natural because if you come over here you know, that looks like a dirt mound. You know, we, we don't want dirt mounds. You know, we want realistic hills. So this is where we're at right now. So next step, I need to kind of see if I can get rid of some stuff real quick. Boop. Next step is going to be, let's see here. What do we want to do? I think we really need to start adding some, some, yeah, let's go ahead and get the trees up. Let's go ahead and um, start adding trees. Now I'm doing this for, um, sake of just like survival based and you know just again landscaping 101 this is nothing like too crazy in detail but obviously i like to you know add details here and there so i'm not going to make custom trees you know i just i got these spruce just to kind of get help y'all get an idea and where you want to kind of place these is um not on the ledges because on the ledges this wood it's going to look a little weird you're just going to have this block of dirt and then a tree you know, that doesn't make sense. You know, in the real world, if a block was on the ledge, you see them, you know, they're usually sometimes, you know, like slanted, you know, they're, I mean, we could make some slanted trees, but again, I said, I'm not going to make any realistic ones. Just going to plant these. So, you know, it'd be slanted or, you know, be falling down and we can add that in later with some fallen stuff, but you really want to stay away from, uh, building your trees on the ledges. So what you want to do is you kind of want to get in those gaps where it's, uh, kind of stuck in between. It's, uh, what you, I don't even know what you call it, bordered by, uh, two blocks and then should bone meal here and see what we can get oh that's not be a good area all right let's see if we can find another spot let's see do, 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 do. here let's try this one dang okay well i guess that's another thing you got to worry about is uh how vertical the land is. I'm gonna come right back real quick and see if I can get a few of these planted in some uh, areas and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so what you might have to end up doing is uh, getting um, some dirt and uh, a few of the spruce wood logs and going in those areas where you find, um, you know, the bordered uh, grass block. You, what you might have to do, depending on how uh, vertical your uh, mountainous area is, is you might have to place uh, a block of dirt down and then place the sapling and then bone meal it and then replace the dirt with your spruce wood because um, because mine is is so uh, vertical at the at these lower points and uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't allow the uh, tree to grow because there's stuff in the way so I'm trying to find another good spot I don't want to cover that up um Darn, you know, I'm really I'm not wanting to put too many trees on this uh, mountain, but you know, I'd, I'd like some. Come on, help me out a little bit. Oh, this area didn't seem too bad. So this one might need 
I need to put two blocks. Of, and we'll just replace that. Hopefully we get a little bit smaller tree. Darn. It's just... Oh, oh, I want the too tall grass. It's not what I want. Dang. All right, well, y'all get the point. Um, just do what you can with your mountain. And, um, you know, like I said, if you're not able to grow some, try placing some blocks of dirt under it. I'll get to work on placing a few of uh, these trees up, and we'll be right back. All right, so what y'all really might have to do is on uh, some of these parts where you're not, get re you're not getting your trees to grow, what you might have to do is really just kind of tear out the, oop, the terrain a little bit and kind of come back in after, you, after your tree's grown and just kind of build it back in. Because the, in real life, the trees will just kind of grow anywhere and they'll just, morph to the, uh, they'll just morph to the land that they're in. So as long as, you, as long as that tree is able to grow, you should be fine and then just build your uh, terrain around it. So, so yeah, so now we got a pretty good idea of our natural looking area. And see, this is already starting to look a lot better. We're bringing in new colors, we're bringing in darker browns, we're bringing in darker greens, you know, we're pulling out the stone. What we're also doing is we're creating lines of interest. Because if you kind of look over here, I got this big line of interest here so we can do something cool. We got a little bit right here in this section, a little bit in there. So that's areas that we can also bring up popping like boulders or, you know, wet looking um, dirt just Oh, let me stretch. Woo. Okay. But yeah, we can just really just start to get these lines of interest, and it'll just start making our, our builds just look a lot better. So, yeah, because look, boom, right here, already looking a lot better than over there. But, you know, heck, that's going to be a lot of pain because then i got to do all this on this whole huge area. But, anyways, so, uh, so next what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to start to get to work a little bit on those boulders. So let's go ahead and grab our cobblestone, get this stuff out of here. Let's grab a little bit of that, a little bit of this. We shouldn't need our axe. Let's get that out of here. Let's go ahead and grab our andesite, some gravel. You also want to grab some coarse dirt. Now, what else can I get rid of? Let's get rid of the lucky pick. All right. So I got my, doo -doo -doo -doo. and we're going to need a little bit of stone as well. So get, oh, no, I need that. Um, again, so all of these are really just going to be for um, creating our boulders. We're just going to try and create, um, it just helps like create these, um, like I was talking about, points of interest that just like stick out. So if you kind of look at your mountain that either you made or you're looking at, you look for points that are already sticking out so that you can go off of those. So right here for me is one I'm seeing. It's really sticking out to me. So what we can do, oh, and it's going to look real cool next to this tree. What we can do is come in here and let's just, hmm, let's actually cover that back up because that was my border for my tree let's just come in here let's just kind of bring this out a little bit so let's start with cobblestone and then we can um, move to other blocks here in a second all right now these are also going to represent when you're looking at it later these could also be fallen rocks you know because we got rock piles and they can represent you know other uh other stones, just anything like that. So let's look at that. Kind of wanna. Uh, do I want to? Let's let's dig into the mountain a little bit more rather than do that. Can bring this out, put a slab on top of that, and then what I can do? Oh, that's my phone. Put a stair there, help create a little bit of that, and then. Here, come right there, dig this out. A little bit there. Kind of bring that out. Just fill that in. Where's my there's it? Oh, my phone's going off. Sorry guys. But yeah, you just kinda of wanna bring it down the mountain a little bit. And here in a second, I'll work on bringing it out a little bit more. But yeah, you just want to work on it kind of sliding down naturally. So, all right, now we want it to stick out a little bit more. So we're going to start using our slabs and uh, stairs. So 
if we come in here, this is really going to make it a lot bigger. My phone is going off today. Group chat. Buddies wouldn't hang out. Let's see here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So, uh, yeah, we start out with that. And we really start to bring it out now. Now we're going to come, kind of make it smooth as well. Put that right there. Let's replace this with some rock. Maybe put this down here, some other fallen rocks. It's fine if it's on top of that. Uh, that's not actually. Come put that. Let's put that there. And there. You know what? That is fine. Not there. Dang it. Not right there. Put that there. Let's fill that in with some. Oh, dang it. Some stone. Slab right there. Slab up there. Alright, now we kind of got this like you know, random blob of just cobblestone right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and we're going to add our gradient. So at the bottom is where your larger rocks should be because just due to gravity and just the natural way our earth works, that's where they're going to go. So, oh wait, hold on. Someone, someone's calling me one second. All right, so we're back. And um, like I was saying, let's get to work on kind of smoothing this out a little bit. Work on... Uh, just kind of adding that extra detail. So we're going to come down here like that. Um, do I kind of want to stop there? No, let's not. Let's And just while we're at it, let's start adding in a little bit of details as well. That's disgusting. That was my brother. Kind of come down in here. Me, we're going to do a little bit gradient, more gradient in that one. And yeah, really just like work on... Whether you want to bring it out more, so what you what you want to do when you bring it out is obviously put your blocks down, but then know that it's gonna it's gonna push out a little bit more when you put those stairs and slabs on top of it, like I'm gonna do right there. Yeah, so it's gonna help it push out a lot more, and you can kind of just come back in and uh, you know add your add your blocks. So we come here, add a little bit of a little bit of that in there, a little more gravel. Oh, meant to be gravel, but that's, that's all right. Kind of come up here a little bit. Um, let's. So we already changed that one, so that means we need to go up a gradient. Go gravel right here. And get gravel as well and change that one to gravel. But you, you just want to notice your gradients and. Uh, and don't stick like a cobblestone next to an and or stick cobblestone like next to a uh, smooth stone, because it's like way too crazy of a change. You kind of want to gradually go down a little bit. So right here, maybe you can put a little bit of this one. Being that it's so um, slanted out and pushed out, it's going to be a lot, a lot more gradient than smooth. Let's go ahead and stick an andesite right in there. Mm, let's just stick. Let's do an end site. Right here we can go a little bit more. Right there, so get one right there. Y'all kind of get the idea. Yeah, see it kind of brings out brings out the stone a little bit. And yeah. What you might have to do is, because you kind of, if you look right there, it's just a big old stripe of cobblestone. What you might have to do is kind of get rid of that a little bit or, or mix it up. So what we can do... Mm. Honestly, I'm, I'm not hating it too much. Actually, I kind of like that. I don't know. Maybe we just need to change this up a little bit. Uh, give that one cobblestone. Change this andesite. And yeah, just kind of have it. Kind of at the base, you want to do a little bit of cobblestone. Again, like the pebbles that are falling down. Come on, get up there. There we go. Yeah, it's just a little bit of. I, I, uh, it's just a little bit of. A lot of cobblestone for my taste, but. You no, know, that's the whole thing. You know, get it to where you like it. And look, right there. See, so we got that tree bringing it out. We have a point of interest right there with the rock. 
And you kind of just go in there and you kind of, you know, they don't have to be as big either. You can kind of do one to the bottom here. Like, let's make this. Let's do like just a little boulder here right in the ground. Just kind of sticking out. What you need to do is just put a cobblestone there and just put a slab on top of it. And come in here and kind of, this is kind of also what I did in the, uh, the Lumber Kingdom. You kind of just have boulders that just stick out of the ground a little bit, you know. Kind of put a little gravel right in there. Land aside. Smooth stone's kind of your last resort in these occasions, by the way. Kind of don't want to use those as much. Can I come in here? Let's see. Do these on the spot's a little bit different. I kind of usually take my time when making these. You kind of just go on the ground as well. And really just kind of, you know, morphing. Oh, here, this is a great occasion when we can use uh, that mossy. Here we go. So we got some uh, some grass here. So we put a mossy down. And that helps, uh, you know, oh, dang it. That helps represent that, you know, there's some grass growing on it. You know, I mean, a lot of it's um, just uh, a little bit of some imagination. But, yeah, just, like, put some boulders in the ground and, uh, you know, help, it really help bring it out a little bit. Just kind of help. Scatter it out a little bit. Land this out right there. Have that going into the mountain. And now since that goes down one, what we can do is we can replace that right there. And put that with a little bit of... But yeah, so just just put some, you know, some of your own thought into some stuff and, you know, see, what, see where it takes you. Put stone in there too, that's fine. And yeah, you know, just however y'all want it. So you kind of you kind of put these these indents in the ground, singing that it, or saying that it kind of sinks into the ground. You know, really good in there. But yeah, so no, I'll, so uh, I'll be right back after I add a little bit of those stones. And uh, oh, hey, but just remember before I do go, remember you want to put them in kind of your line of sights. Um, you can hide. You can do. You can get away with a little bit of of hiding them kind of behind or under the trees to add like small details when people are walking by, but in these points where you don't have very much, that's where you want other things of interest, like boulders or um, a little bit of brush. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have brush be your number one because brush is really just to help blend. It's not, not so much, you know, your your points of interest. So, yeah. So we'll get to work on that, and I'll be right back. And we're back, guys. So if you look here, you can kind of tell we're starting to see some some natural um, shapes and lines of kind of like where the the dirt paths have been dirt paths have been made um, just naturally st naturally and stuff we can kind of start to work in um, some paths just so y'all um, kind of get an idea for how those look um, but what I've noticed that I missed when I was uh, explaining to y'all about the the rock formations is that heck we got coarse dirt what better way to blend it in you know really bring it in with the um, regular grass then you know kind of mix it up you know because there's going to be even finer stuff than our uh <coughs> than our andesite here you know we need to we need to mix that in we need to mix it in with the dirt because you know there's not gonna be grass growing on it there's still rocks in there but, you know if we want grass to look like it's growing on it then we'll use that uh um mossy stone and i kind of strayed away from that for a little bit because i didn't want too much of it because i really didn't want to take away from the the color scheme we already had because i mean it is a little bit of a uh a different shade of green in this biome so uh it doesn't work too great but you know with it with it a little bit here and there it looks like there's some grass growing in between the rocks and you know it really helps uh shape it oh i was trying to show you all the coarse dirt how i blended in but yeah see so you just stick a little bit on the areas where you just have like big chunks of rock that just go straight up with the grass and if you don't really like it you know just mix in some some coarse dirt here and there and i kind of did a better kind of did a better job of it up here I think this is the one. Yeah, you see where like like there was just like grass right here. I didn't like how it was looking, so I kind of wanted to mix it in a little bit, add some coarse dirt around, and uh, and yeah, oh, another text. So uh, all right, what's next? So I was talking about doing the paths. Do we want? Yeah, let me set this down. Do we want to do? What do we have left? We have lighting. Done the rocks, done the trees. We could do brush. We could do lighting. We gotta go back in and do grass later. Okay, so Podzel, this one is mainly gonna be for if you have like 
um, say a uh, Uh, waterfall or a stream running down through your mountain what this is going to do for you and I have a soap text so I can do this is say like um, let me just place some blocks real quick come around here so say like our water stream is like this stuff right here I, I don't even care like that's there what you're going to do you're going to kind of use the podzole kind of like I use the coarse dirt and as it's kind of running down you're just going to place it on the edge of stuff and you know and you're going to but also don't forget you got to mix it in with the coarse dirt because there's going to be rocks and pebbles that are flowing into there so you need to mix that in you know you just kind of sporadically you know gosh dang it my phone um just place it along here and there so yeah so that's what many of this was for um because i'm not this is going to be more of like a drier area so that's why i realized i wasn't going to be using this but yeah so that's what you're going to use that for this is more for like a wet texture you know it's a grass like we have here you know it's a grass but it's it's a bit more of a wet grass. It's a grass that you know has a bunch of minerals flowing over. Because here, let me place it back down real quick. You see, you got a bunch of colors. You got you got grass trying to grow. You got the dirt and the mud in there, and you got maybe some sediment from the waters, that orange stuff, and you know some pebbles here and there. So that's what this one is really mainly for. So we're gonna stay away from that one because my mountain slash hill, mine's mainly a hill, um, is gonna be uh, more dry. So. Okay, so I guess we we can work on is uh, do a little bit of the lighting, and this one this one's relatively easy. I already got some torches here, so we're just gonna put some torches, pumpkins, bam, jack o' lanterns. Let me go grab a few more. Let's kind of do these like lower areas. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take I need one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're gonna do is we're gonna turn all these into jack o' lanterns. Okay, we got those. Uh, I don't have enough pumpkins to do a full set of eight. But what we're going to do is, uh, mm, it'd be a lot easier to do it in the nighttime because then I could get a consistent, like, brighter area. But the whole point of these is to kind of keep keep the hill lit while without the ugly torches, you know, if you don't like those. And uh, so it's kind of like what you're going to do for the trees. You're going to try to find an area that, that's uh, bordered by uh, two. Actually, right here is a perfect example. So it's bordered by these two blocks. Oh, dang it. I forgot about that. So that's a downside of not um, filling in your mountain 100%. But um, future project is we're actually going to put a uh, um, Dwarven Kingdom under here. And that's going to be with uh, Sir Darwin, one of the guys on the server. He's going to help do that. So, yeah. Okay, where was there's this tree right here? Yeah, okay. So what we want to do is you kind of want to keep... Um, the texture of the grass because you don't want it to show too much of this glass so you're just going to get the dirt and you're just going to place it right in there so the whole point of the green oh dang it, is to replicate the, the grass top so that's why we're putting dirt below it so it still looks like it's uh, just the, the bottom part of this dirt block so you're going to place this here oh I need a block below it, dang it okay, so don't forget that if you're doing these like the way I'm doing it you need a block below it to place it so if we come around here, where's that? Right here. Okay, so I need to. Need to okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the glass level with your grass. Glass level with grass. And I'm just gonna pull some stone out here. All right. And you're just gonna place boom jack o' lantern. Get out here, zombie. Get this out of here. I don't need this right now. I already got a mob farm. Get out of here. Alright, get out of here. No, that was a terrible northern accent. Or Detroit, whatever the hell you want to call it. So we come up here. Right there. Yeah, so it's kind of like, if you don't, what we can also do is place some grass in front of it if you really don't like it. Um, but I mean, like at a second's notice, I mean, you really don't like see it, you know, so you're just like... You just run them by, you know, how, how you know, probably, I didn't really didn't even notice, to be honest. That kind of sounds really dumb of me to say, because I'm the one doing the video. But anyways, um, so yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I don't want to cut. I was, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait um, right here. I'm going to wait till night, and then I'll um, walk through this again with you all, just so you can get a better idea of how to space out the lighting and stuff. So we'll be right back. 
Alright, so we're back and it's nighttime. You can kind of see just about how much light that area is giving off. Now, I took out some other torches just so we could get uh, a little more workspace. Y'all can see like how how drastic the change is and stuff, but you really just kind of like want to go in in every little area you can. I kind of want to stick to this edge for right now. So we'll go right here, dig down a little bit. Gonna have to replace this, get my dirt out. Come in here, boom. Place a little dirt right there. Um, I able to reach that. There we go. Place our jack o' lantern. Get our glass, and there we go. And step back. Look at that. So now you may have to put a lot more work in it rather than, rather than just uh, spamming some torches. But in the end, you're going to get a, a lot better result. Um, unless your whole idea is like a lit torch path and stuff, but. Um, if you really want like a lit mount, lit mountain or at least an area where it's like maybe like a cave that's lit up, you know, kind of use some of these to um, bring out um, some more light because obviously in the game of Minecraft it's not, you know, a torch doesn't give off as much light as it would in the real world in a real dark place. You could like maybe light the path up with these that's up next against a cave or something like that. So yeah, you just come in. Let's see. We need, sorry, I don't mean to breathe into the mic. Just got this new mic and I'm uh, working to get used to it. So. If y'all were wondering, it's a uh, a blue Yeti USB Ultimate USB mic, something like that. Yep. So I don't have enough room to do it there. Here we go. Boop. Let's remove some of that. Oh, too much. Too much. All right. Here we go. Step back. Yeah. Of course you can do it on the bottom of the mountain. The bottom of the mountain is going to be your easiest area to do on. Because, uh, actually, that's one thing I would stay away from, though, is placing them right against that. Because that's going to be where it's most visible. So kind of doing right here. Yeah, bottom of the mountain is going to be um, where it's your easiest because it's the flattest part. So uh, you really don't need to worry about finding a block that borders it because, you know, it's the whole ground. So... Let's see, let's do, oh man, sorry, like I said, still trying to get used to this stuff, so here we go, and let's try to get one up there, if we can, see if we can sne sneak one in here, and don't be afraid if you're doing this on a mountain that's already generated, or even if, even if you already uh, built your own mountain, don't be afraid to kind of tear off the terrain a little bit, I mean, the whole point is to be able to make it look good, and you know, add some good details, so, let's see, I'm not finding a very good spot. We might have to do what I just said and dig into the terrain. Let's do it. See if I can reach this, can I? Oh yeah. Skills. Let's do this. The thing is is we can always um I guess I earlier put some grass right there if y'all don't like the look of that. And honestly, it brings out a little bit more stone. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. We can leave this stone because it blends into it. Didn't even think about that. So now the grass is going to be here, but it blends into that stone. So it just kind of brings out a little bit more. There we go. Oh, dang it, it's raining. But yeah, so now y'all kind of see... Oh, dang it. I'm still... Sorry, still getting used to this thing. It's right in front of me and it freaks me out. But yeah, y'all can kind of see how we um, lit up this whole area, just like we did with the torches, but, you know, did it with hidden lights, you know. It looks a little bit nicer than seeing a bunch of glowing yellow things, just a nice lit path, so. Alright, let me get some time to recollect myself and see uh, what else we need to do. Alright, and we are back, guys. So, this last segment here, this one is really um, kind of what I touched on with earlier. This one is really up to y'all um so we're gonna be do we're gonna be using our uh our leaf blocks here and we're gonna tie in a little bit of jack-o'-lanterns as well as this let's get that out of there as well as this glass to kind of help um bring out light as well i can show you kind of how to do that but this one this is a preference really up to y'all now for me i tend to use these more on um kind of like bushes that are growing up on um like buildings like here if I can get this to load in real quick like you can kind of see here 
I use that a lot more for, you know, kind of growing on buildings, but as well as, uh, you know, kind of have it out sparsely. For me, I don't, I don't use it that much, but uh, I'm going to try to do my best and show you all how to kind of set that up a little bit. So again, we're going to try to look for those uh, big lines of sights, kind of like right in there. And we can use these to add some bush, you know, some, some thicker plant life and stuff like that. So we can kind of start here at the bottom. This really helps just kind of bring out some color, you know. I'll just kind of go like that. Mix in a few here. Stick a light right in here. Now you want the glass because some people um, don't play on the fast texture pack like I do. They play on the uh, fancy. So you want your glass to kind of help cover that up a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to put that one right there. Kind of come up like this. And you also kind of want, you might want to keep it um, closer to your trees because uh, you, they can kind of act like, you know, fallen leaves. And, you know, these ones are a little bit fresher, falling from the pile. And those ones are obviously a little bit more the dead ones. Now, I kind of wanted to change that up a little bit. Yeah, no, I should be using shears, but, you know, when you guys so touch, doesn't matter. You can take these into the ground if you really want to do that as well. You can kind of terraform a little bit, use this to kind of really show off um, a little bit more of the leaves and stuff. I'm trying to think. How do I want to do this? Oh, oh I did not. Still getting used to this mic, sorry. Um, kind of put that right in there. Kind of go over a rock maybe a little bit. Let's place this. Let's put this one right here. The spruce. Let's put that right there. Let's make, oh, that's just, should not be that. Uh, let's do a spruce. Yeah, you kind of just come in here, add some bush life and some some extra color. I'm just going to kind of stick around um, close to the trees, you know, add in a little bit there, and then maybe work my way out later and do here. Let's do another one of these. Get rid of that. Boop. I'm kind of stick some leaves up and around here. In a second, though, I'll kind of show y'all how you can kind of add a little bit um, arrest. Ugh. Add a little more around the rest of the mountain. There we go. That's what I want to say. Just kind of want to randomly place these up along in here. Yeah. Stick one there. One there. There we go. It's not bad. It's a little bit of that. You know, really just kind of get that uh, dead leaf feel. And then you can kind of come in and just randomly add a few here and there. It's like, let's do it here. Stick, stick some there. Maybe have it fall down the mountain a little bit more. Uh, we can do that one out. Like right here would be another good spot to put a, uh, a uh, jack o' lantern and stuff. Yeah. So you kind of just go in there and you just kind of help add a little bit of color and you know. Um, help add some brush to your your mountain and again so since mine's gonna be um a little bit more of like a dry mountain i'm gonna, I'm gonna stick more towards um my oak leaves you know because i want them to be like dried and kind of dead um but i'm also not gonna have as much brush you know i'm gonna have more of this, this tall grass cause this is kind of like a thinner this is more like a thicker brush and leaves and, and these are more like your like thinner grass and weeds and stuff so yeah i'll just do one more with y'all and then Let's skip forward a little bit. Let's go right there. Yeah, because closer to the tree, you're going to have a little bit more of your alive ones. Can go right in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can leave a little bit of grass in there as well. I'm just going to take this one out. Boop. All right. So yeah, so that's kind of like the main idea. You just kind of want to, you know, throw in some brush here and there, add some color to your, your hill slash mountain. So yeah, so I'll, I'll work on that and I'll uh, be right back. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the whole um, landscaping with the addition of all these crazy blocks and stuff. And then when you're kind of done, you can kind of come back in and just fill in the areas uh, as you wish with, you know, your, your grass and all that stuff. But really you don't want for me at least I don't like too much you know and I kind of like spots where there's not grass you know it shows that you know there's some areas where it's not doing so well you know it's, it's a little more natural so you can just come through here and then just add a little bit bone meal it up you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed and if you like these kind of videos, I'm thinking about um, keeping up with tutorials, um, but kind of tutorials based off the jobs I'm doing on the server. Like I'll do some for my uh, underwater base. I'll kind of do tutorials, maybe some redstone stuff with that, or um, the Nether Hub, kind of how to set up portals. But just you know, little tutorials like this, kind of kind of like a side series. So, but I hope you all enjoyed. If you do, please leave me a, please leave me a like or a comment with anything, any tips, ideas, anything you have. Let's keep this series going, guys. Thank you for all your support and anything you all do for this channel. Again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later.